Police officers are understa understandably on guard all over the country now. Jerika Duncan has more on that. Authorities believe a man in Tennessee shot and wounded a police officer Thursday morning because he was, quote, troubled by recent incidents involving police and blacks. Officers have also been targeted in Georgia and Missouri since two black men were shot and killed by white officers this week. And a law enforcement official tells CBS News that social media threats towards police have been on the rise since the shootings in Dallas. Taking defensive measures, departments in several major cities, including New York, Los Angeles, Philadelphia, Boston, Washington, and Vegas, are mandating officers patrol in pairs. Homeland Security Secretary Jay Johnson urged communities and officers to come together. Violence is never the answer. Violence directed at our police officers is never the answer. Violence directed at police officers endangers them and it endangers the very public they are sworn to protect. Philadelphia Police Commissioner Richard Ross oversees the country's fourth largest police department. He says what happened in Dallas should be a turning point. Do things get better from here? I got to believe that they will, but I know it takes work. It will take effort. It's not going to happen just by chance. Uh, law enforcement will have to be very intentional about how it works and connects with its communities, but communities have to be willing to do the same as well. Until we do that, we're never going to get where we need to be. There is no credible threat in Philadelphia, but Scott, because of those shootings in Dallas, security plans for the Democratic National Convention just a couple of weeks away are now under review. Jerika Duncan, thanks.